Hello, another episode of Nerdy on Real Dev, and this time we're talking about screen space global illumination. Now, screen space uh, global illumination, or SSGI as it's often shortened to, is new to 4.24, though it uh, was introduced as a little thing people could try in earlier versions of Unreal. And what it is, is it's a way of doing sort of background lighting that's more realistic. Uh, the documentation provides a few examples that are really helpful. But how do we go about using it? So we've got here is a little sci-fi hallway. I have auto exposure turned off. And now to set up SSGI, we go into project settings. And then in engine, we're going to go to rendering. And we're going to scroll down to uh, lighting, which is over here. I just always pacify, though quick note. For those wondering what I mean by auto exposure, uh, auto exposure is little thing that basically automatically determines exposure. Unreal automatically leaves it on. I typically turn it off when lighting, but there are various uses for it. Back on topic. So screen space global illumination is here under lighting. Uh, you just click this button and already you can see a pretty drastic change. In this case, it lowered the brightness because what it's doing is it's determining how bright things should be uh, based off of where objects are. And can go over here, see inside these lovely crates. And you can see that there's a bit of a difference if I say turn it, whoops. If I turn it back off, then I do, do, do. sorry there's so many settings here sometimes you just kind of forget where things are yeah go back to lying toggle off and on you can kind of see how some of the differences are and in order to change the quality uh, you hit the tilde to bring up the console commands and then r dot gi, and you can see these are various commands. So right through the console command, you can turn it on. Uh, you can do it at half resolution. Leak free reprojection is a way of doing it when you're like moving between rooms. But what we're looking for here is quality. I didn't really explain that very well with the projection, but it's more like when you're going between scenes. So right now the quality's at four. You have one through four. And it may be difficult to see some of the differences just because uh, this is a smaller scene. Again, the documentation does have some great examples. Just type it in. And so for the, remember, for the numbers for the quality, hit space and then put in the number. Or you can do quality zero and it turns it off. So that's just a quick little rundown of screen space global illumination. Whoops. Hope you enjoyed. This has been another Nerdy Unreal Dev tutorial.